I think sometimes we make things so complicated, but it's the simple things that, uh, that keep most people back. I think naturally we get up, not, not everybody, but if you, if when you're lying in bed, a lot of times you'll think about, oh man, I don't feel like going to work, and you, you can rehearse the problems, or you can rehearse what happened yesterday, and it starts right at the, at the beginning of the day, so that's why I think it's so important when you first get out of bed in the morning, find something to be grateful for. You know, you may not feel perfectly well, but you've got your family. Yeah. You don't have your job, but you've got a great place to live. You've got some friends. So you start the day off, you know, you set the tone right at the beginning of the day, before you check the stock report, before you check the weather. When you wake up in the morning, the birds are chirping, you feel great, you feel like taking on the world. Yeah, those are the days, you know, anyone can go get after it. But when it's raining, and you don't feel good, those are the days that you have to find the energy to attack the day. That separates you from the other people. You, you get up in the morning, you're in the shower, you're driving to work saying, you know what, Lord, thank you, I'm, I'm strong. I make good decisions. It's not magic, but those words go out of our mouth and they come right back into our own ears. They start to change our own self-image. And this is, this is not magic, but you go around day, saying all day, I'm blessed, I'm beautiful, I'm talented, I'm valuable, I'm creative, I'm disciplined. That's doing something on the inside of you. How you start your day is how you start the rest of your life. And day by day, when you're consistent, doing the same thing over and over to lead to growth, it will change everything about your life. If you're checking email first thing in the morning, it's not that the email's the problem, it's that you haven't prioritized your time and your priorities and your goals and your activities that you know the important things that need to get done, and once they're done, then go check your email, check your Facebook, do whatever you want. Wake up each day and tell yourself you're strong and slowly start to eliminate those small, small little pebbles that are keeping you from climbing the big mountain. Quit stumbling. And when you stumble, get right back up and take more steps forward. When people say, I'm not a morning person, that's the most ridiculous statement a person can make. If you're not a morning person, are we not shooting for tomorrow? And our goal is for tomorrow to come. For you to wake up and lay that on your day every morning, I'm not a morning person. To pull that blanket up over your head every day is such a waste of time. I can't wait till I wake up in the morning. I, and you know what helps me out a great deal? When I wake up in the morning, I spend the first 10 minutes just thinking. I don't even address any problems and stuff I got. I'm just grateful that I'm up for this. And I think every little thing, and I spend 10 minutes, and it makes your day start such a wonderful way. And when you wake up in the morning, before you start thinking about the things that you've got to do that you don't want to do, before you start remembering the injustices of yesterday or 10 years ago, before you remember that you're going to that place today to work that you really don't want to be, before your kids get up, before any of those things happen that challenge your sense of well-being, if you can get hold of that sense of well-being and just sustain it for a little bit with really general thoughts, because if you get specific, it usually doesn't work as well. Get into an attitude of appreciation and milk it for just a little bit. Law of Attraction will help you out. Look, I hate to say it, but winning and succeeding is competitive. Life is competitive. Everybody doesn't get a trophy. That's not how it works. And it's your ability to get up and get moving. I tell people all the time, I believe one of the greatest success traits you can have is to get your tail out of bed early and get moving. If it's just to get up and read and get your mind right for the day. So you gotta get up early, show up early, get there, get after it, attack the day, make things happen. Most people wait for things to happen. Winners make things happen.